Alright everybody, welcome to these games on. Um, today we're gonna be doing something a little different today. I just got the WWF Big Eagle Championship. Now any WWF Attitude Ever fan already know what's going on when they see this belt right here. So many legends and had this belt from the Undertaker, Kane, Triple H, The Rock, Chris Jericho, Mankind. Just a lot of Hall of Famers and had this belt. And this is more of like a, a, a nostalgia childhood thing for me. Because growing I'm I'm a 90s baby. So I got into wrestling around about 96, 97. And this was the first championship belt that I saw. This was the first championship belt that I saw. This one right here. Classic. Just the design of it. And we're going to look at the side plates. And just look at the WWF. Let me see can I get a good focus picture on it. That look good right there. Then the line and the WWF Chris. Then I don't think this is an Amazon built. If you were interested and wondering where I got this from, this is an Amazon built. And man, for the price that was paid for this, in my opinion, I say it, were, it was worth it. Even though we all know that the Attitude Era belt did not have the gold tip, in my opinion, it's kind of, in my point of view, it's like a, mm, it kind of grew on me as I kept, you know, just looking at it and then when I button it and snap it up, I'm like, well, it's okay. I, I'll let it slide, but we all know that's not, you know, TV accurate. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna flip over the back. Make sure I see how that back looking. And I was just surprised, like, at the quality. All the screws are covered up. The leather feels good. It says it's real leather on the um on Amazon when you buy it, but it can't like. Like the trimming, like kind of got like a little jagged to it. But hey, this thing is perfect. Got two by six snaps. So it's a good medium size. Then I like, you know, when you rub it, it kind of, you, you, you like the engraving on it. It feels good. And then one thing that was kind of on my mind, like, okay, the WWE shop version is $399, damn near $400. The simulated leather from the videos that I've seen, a lot of people don't like it because they see the belts on TV, you know, just being tossed around, you know, sometime, and they see how floppy it is. And I'm like, damn, but the WWE shop, Mm -mm, you can't get that type, but this right here, like for the price, damn near around a hundred and something. This is a good belt. Then it has the property of the World Wrestling Federation with the JMAR ninety nine, the man who made the belts at the time for the um, WWF. Probably still do make them. I don't know, but this is a good belt, man. It's just. This this was my childhood belt. World Wrestling Federation. With the red, white, and black WWF Scratch logo. It is so hard to find a good belt with this on it. So many people are looking for this logo. Some people like the WWF Block logo. But the Scratch Attitude Era, when in my opinion was wrestling, was at its peak. This is gorgeous, man. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna let y'all see how it look. Um, man, that's just beautiful right there. 
And look how like the gold shine. This is brass, by the way. Two millimeter um, it's a two millimeter plate. I just love like the feel of the leather, like besides the main shield on here. Oh my god, like one of my friends from high school had texted me, he was like, Man, you better do justice by this video. I'm like, most definitely because I love the Attitude Era and a lot of people that I grew up with watch wrestling love the Attitude Era. Cause I remember some mornings, like, I'll just be hyped for Monday night because I knew Monday Night Raw was coming on. And g Paul, I already have it on. Stone Cold, The Rock, shout out to them, you know. But, man, this belt right here, just let me show you how I look over the, up on the shoulder. I'm going to flip the camera right quick, so... And this is the look over the shoulder right here. It's a good look. Let me hit this right quick. It's a good little look right here. Just look how that thing shine, man. Just. You want my title? You know what I'm saying? Make a guy feel like he's gonna cut a promo at any minute. Like this attitude, attitude, attitude. Then the leather just, no creasing in it, you know, nothing like that. Just look good, just look good. Not too big. You may, um, if you're a little bit bigger, you may have to, um, may have to get it re-leathered. But I'm just going to stick with this. I might just have this up for display or may bring it out once in a while when WWE comes to town. Because I would love to um, bring this to an event. I would love because I'm not paying no $3.99 for no World Wrestling Entertainment Attitude Era replica. Nah. If it ain't this, nah. Wrestling, it will never be the same. Like WWE, the ruthless aggression era, it was a, it, it did what it was supposed to do, but nothing will never. You can't capture lightning in a bottle with the attitude era. Not in this generation. AEW doing, in my opinion, they trying to bring that attitude era feeling back to wrestling, with wrestlers having like a little bit more creative control. Then WWE. Uh -huh. And then just look at that. Just the leather. It ain't straight like a cardboard. Bends like the real thing. How it used to on TV. It's just nice. It's just nice. Then sitting up. Man, that look good. That look good. And this is the first belt that's in these games on. I was thinking about, and I may add the WWE spinner. For Jeff Hardy, because they were my guy. And when he won the WWE Championship, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, it's on. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the World Wrestling Federation Attitude Era belt? Was it a good time? good time for you in your life to watch wrestling have you ever watched wrestling man this thing just look good world wrestling federation world wrestling federation champion the mcmahon chris it's just 
my favorite feature of this belt that it comes with the World Wrestling Federation property um, plate. Because this plate right here doesn't come on a lot of the Big Eagle Attitude Era belts. It'll just come with, you know, the five and that's it. But this right here kind of gives it that, you know, kind of authenticity to it, you know. And then it got the JMAR 99 um, stamp at the bottom. Even though we know this wasn't made by them, but just for looks sake, you know, it kind of holds up. But for the price for this belt, I, this is good. This is gold. This is gold. This is gold. And until next time, y'all been in these games on.